Hi, we're going to perform a solution for workshop 11 of the Intro Abacus Scripting class. The first part of the workshop involves creating a script that will generate a part that is a plate with a given width, height, and radius of a hole within the plate. And the solution for that script is already given in the notes, so I won't cover that except just to bring it up briefly in a text editor here. And you can see this is pretty much what you have in your class notes. So this script is going to be called by our the GUI we create with the RSG GUI builder, the really simple GUI builder. So let's begin. First we start Abacus CAE. And hit standard explicit model just to get started. Then we go to plugins, Abacus, and the RSG dialog builder. And the first thing we want to do is click on show dialog to have a working copy of the GUI that we are building visible to us while we are building it. And then we change its title to create plate and hit return and we see that our GUI has been updated. Next, we add a group box and give it a title of parameters and hit return and the our GUI is updated again. Now we want to create text fields for entering the information that the GUI will accept. So we hit the text box icon and specify label text of name colon and this is going to be a uh, have data of type string so we leave that selection. The keyword is the name of the variable that will be created uh, from the uh, GUI element from a data this data box in this case that will go straight to the Python code. This will be the variable name in the Python code and we will call it part name. Next we create another text box. This one is for the width and it is a variable of type float and its variable, its Python variable name will simply be width. And we create another for the height. It too is a float and its Python variable name will be height. And the last text box is one we will call radius. It too is a float and its variable name is radius. And so now we can see what our GUI looks like. Oh, I uh, made one mistake here. I forgot to put in the parentheses. But now it's updated and everything is fine. Okay. Now we create a second group box for the icon that will contain the image of the part that we want to create. It's just a template image uh, showing what the dimensions mean. And its title is going to be diagram and we hit return and the GUI has been updated with the title for this group box. Within this group box we create an icon and we want to fill the icon with the graphical file createplate.png 
that has been provided for us. And we see this is done. But we want the diagram group box to be above the parameters group box. So to do this, let's move the diagram box. So let's click on diagram. Then click on the left arrow to move it to the same level as the parameters group box rather than as a sub entity. So we hit the left button. And now we hit the up arrow to move it above the parameters group box. And we're all set. Now if we click on Create Plate, we can see the top level information for our GUI. And it's very much like what appears in your notes. At this point, we need to establish the connection between our really simple GUI and the script that we want to call. So we hit the kernel tab and click on this icon to select a kernel module file, which for us is createplate.createplatemodule.py. And having selected it, we now select the function that we want to be called from within this file. And it's the function create plate function. Now we go back to the GUI tab and click on the Save icon to save our plugin. And here we have a choice. We can save it as an RSG plugin, a really simple GUI plugin, or as a standard plugin. Now, the advantages of a standard plugin are that once saved, the GUI that you create will be compatible with the Abacus GUI Toolkit, a very powerful tool for manipulating GUIs. Uh, so having saved it as a standard plugin, you will be, then be free to generalize it in ways not available with the really simple GUI builder. However, for the purposes of this exercise, you will want to save it as a really simple GUI plugin and not as a standard plugin, despite what the notes say, because if you save it as a standard plugin, then you won't be able to edit it anymore as a really simple GUI. So you won't be able to make any changes to it using the tools that you have learned so far in this class. So select really simple GUI plugin, and then give it a directory name. This will be the name of the directory within the Abacus Plugins folder where the plugin will be installed. And we'll, we enter create plate as the directory name. And for a menu button name, we'll call it create plate with ellipses to show that selecting this will bring up a GUI. Then we have a choice to save it in the home directory or in our current directory. If we save it in the home directory, it will be available for all of our work. However, if we save it only in the current directory, then it will be available only for work done in the current directory. In general, when you create uh, plugins, you will want to save them in your home directory. So we will do that here. And we hit OK. Uh, it looks like I already have one there. And I'm just going to overwrite it. But in your case, you shouldn't have one already there. And so we see the files that are written to create the GUI. And now it exists. Only in order to invoke it, we have to exit Abacus and start again. So let's do that. And we start again with Abacus CAE. I'll just 
create standard explicit model to get started, and then we select plugins, and now we see our our RSG GUI that we've created, uh, the plugin create plate. And here it is. Let's uh, try some values. I'm going to create a very skinny plate, so I'll call it skinny plate. And I'll give it a width of 20, a height of 4, and a radius of 1. And let's see how this works. And there we are.